Good morning. Today we'll discuss or talk about the poem The Solitary Reaper by William Wordsworth and critically analyze the poem. The poem The Solitary Reaper is a picture of rustic life and its poignant beauty. The speaker recounts his experience of chancing upon a humming maiden who was reaping crops alone in the fields it strikes one as quite uncommon it begs the question why was the reaper alone was it deliberate on the part of the poet if it's so what could be his motive perhaps the reaper represents the human soul when it's left to become one with nature the solitude in this poem is unique because we don't know what the song actually means therefore we as readers are not told if the song she is singing is of hope or despair whether it's a plaintive tone or some somber subject perhaps this too was also left deliberately by wordsworth in this sense we can trace a pattern between the solitude of the soul when left alone with only nature or the natural world as companions this is what that lends the poem its beauty and stirs the poet's heart the poem is attuned to the realm of sounds whether it's melancholy strain of the young reaper or the sounds of the various birds in this sense it is intensely rooted in the sensual world the ears become a strong channel to the heart and mind and together they create impressions that become unforgettable for the poet and fall as a season appears a theme as well as of very critical importance fall or autumn signifies the end of summer and beginning of winter it's a season of harvesting but it's also a season of endings just as it brings joy in the form of harvest yet it also marks the beginning of the end of the year so therefore metaphorically it's the last stage before death death as a reaper with a sickle is a popular trope in literature and mythology in this case the poem is a representative of the inevitability of death so the central idea of the poem seems to be the effect the plaintive song of the reaper had on the narrator the melody had touched the narrator in such a way that he was convinced that the song was an eternal one and for him it was eternal for he carried the song in his heart even after he had long left the place it its influence its impact was such that he could hear the song even after leaving that place then what are the themes of the poem first theme is nature as we all know that wordsworth is a poet of nature so the first theme is nature the poem poem is written around natural habitat natural world like all wordsworth's poetry the solitary reaper is innately linked to the nature nature is manifested in the poem in the varied forms of the immense whale the birds and their songs and the oriental image of the arabian deserts then is the memory this theme is one of the integral themes nature and memory are intrinsic to each other in wordsworth because memory plays a great role for wordsworth as he recollects the events the happenings and thinks about them and imagines about them and they have a impact on his life natural beauty and the moving melody leave strong impressions on the poet's memory they act as catalysts for the imagination and go on to become the source of his inspiration for the years to come then the poem is of pastoral nature it has a pastoral aspect the vast expanse of a harvest field where a young maiden reaps the fruits of nature all the while humming to herself some exquisite song in 
is shown in a pastoral frame. In this case, the poem is a romantic one. It has romantic overtones. There are allusions to pastoral motifs like harvesting, melancholy tunes, rural landscape, birds of song, that, that is the nightingale, the cuckoo. Then the seasons are also talked about. Autumn and fall, which are harvesting season, is one of the theme of the poem. The poem centers on this important detail because the reason for the young maiden to be out in the fields singing all by herself is because she is immersed in the job of reaping. Then their music is of course a theme. The very melody the girl sings forms the main subject of the poem. It fills the poem as the maiden's song fills the veil with its lilting tune. The maiden is shown to be alone, lonely. So the loneliness also is a theme. One of the loneliness or solitude is projected as a theme. The solitary figure of the reaper or the maiden strikes a lasting picture in this poem and the reason it has singular effect on the readers is because she is the only living person in the field. It intensifies the focus on her and offers a contrast from the otherwise unpopulated area. The impact or the song is so melancholic that sorrow, grief, sadness is seen everywhere. The poem, like the song, has a touch of sadness. The sadness is derived either from the solitude expressed in the poem or from the unknown subject of the reaper's song because we cannot know, we can't think what the Maiden is singing. We don't understand what she is singing. Therefore, the tone of the poem is plaintive. Like the song the reaper sings, the poet imbibes the haunting sadness with fond remembrance. Hence, the tone is plaintive and reminiscent. A hint of sadness is seen in the narrative. The poem is packed of four stanzas, all of the major romantic sentiments, be it the beauty of nature, reflective mood and the appreciation of melancholic strains, all can be seen in these stanzas. Above all, it highly relies on the act of memory to keep alive the momentary incidents or experiences that often leave a deep impression upon us. Then is the poetic devices that the poet has used in the poem. So, apostrophe is used intensely, such as in the lines, Oh, listen for the veil profound is overflowing with the sound. This is an instance of apostrophe. Apostrophe is a figure of speech where the speaker addresses an absent person or an inanimate or abstract object. In this stanza, the narrator addresses an unknown and possibly abstract entity to express the beauty of the song that fills the veil. Then there are metaphors such as the perhaps the plaintive numbers flow for old unhappy far off things and battles long ago. So this is an example of metaphor. The plaintive numbers or the melancholy tunes of the solitary reaper are compared or likened to a river that winds through the field even across the high brides dispensing the enchanting song of the young girl. So the scheme of the rhyme scheme of the poem is that four stanzas are, have eight lines each and it is composed in iambic tetrameter. The rhyme scheme is iambic tetrameter. Thank you. We will discuss the poem in detail in our next lecture. Thank you.